Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. As privacy regulation tighten and browsers limit tracking, server-side tracking has become essential for accurate data collection. Unlike traditional client-side tracking, it processes data on a secure server, reducing data loss from ad blocker and browser restriction. This is especially valuable for Facebook ads. Ensure better event tracking, improve attribution, and higher ad performance, ultimately boosting ROI. Today, I am gonna show you how to set up server-side tracking. This will help improve data accuracy, bypass ad blockers, and enhance your Facebook ad performance. So let's get started. Open step.io. We will provide an email for signing up. Select anyone you need between two location. A mail has been sent to the mail address. Open the email and click set password. Enter a password. Save the password. Now click on create GTM container. We have to fill up the form. Before that, we have to open a container in GTM. Go to GTM, click on admin and click on plus icon to create a container. Give a name for the container. Select server and click create. The container name is already being used so I have to change it slightly. Click create again. Now I have created the container. Now I will select manually provision tagging server. I have got the container code. Copy it. Now go back to state. Give a container name. Paste the container configuration code. Select your nearest server location. Click on create container. We have got 10,000 free requests monthly. At first, we will use the free plan. But when you need more, you have to buy a paid plan. Click on continue with free plan. We have a container. Now we will verify it. To verify, copy the domain name and go back to GTM. Click on admin, click container setting, click on add URL and paste the domain name click on save now click on submit go back to state and you can see the container is running that means it's verified now go back to GTM to modify the Google tag. You have to watch my previous video to set up the tag. Click on GA4 tag. Navigate to configuration setting. Click on add parameter. In the first parameter box type server container URL give 
exactly what I am typing. Place the domain name in the value box. Again, click on add parameter and type send this view. Type true in the value box. Again, click on add parameter and type event ID. Select event ID in the value box. Save it. Click on Submit. Go to the GTM container. We will preview to check if the container is receiving data or not. We have to open GTM preview as well. We can see the container is receiving data. Now click on template in the GGM container. Click search gallery in tag template. Search conversion API tag. Select it and add it to the workspace. Click on variable. Click on configure. Select client name. Click on hex. Click New, click on Tag Configuration, select Conversion API Tag, Deep Pixel ID from Data Source under Business Manager. Click Setting and copy the dataset ID. Paste it into the Pixel ID box. Now we need the API access token. Go back to data sources and scroll down. You can see generate access token. Click on it to generate an API access token. Copy and paste it into the box. Now we need the test event code. Click on test event. Click the first one and copy the test event. Paste it into the box. We will create a trigger. Click trigger configuration and select custom. Select some events. The first two boxes remain the same client name and contents. In the third one, you have to type GA4. Click save and give a name. Give a name. Click save again.
give a name for the tag and save it. Click Submit to Publish. Now go back to GTM. We will set event ID under event parameters in GF4 event tags. Must watch my previous video on tag setup in GTM. Set event ID under event parameters in GF4 event tags. Click on Submit to Publish. Now we will check if the pixel is receiving data correctly. In the GTM container, the tag is firing correctly. In Facebook Pixel, the data is being received correctly from both the browser and server. Here we can see the deduplicated event. That means the pixel is receiving data perfectly and the data is matching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and drop a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or need further guidance. Thank you.